hello friends welcome back to the open project installation series and this time we are installing open project in windows so in my last few videos we just see that how we can actually use a bitnami virtual machine image vm image and we can start our app but so far we are able to start our app but we are not able to log in and as per their vm says that your username is user and password is some weird this hash password but even after this we are not able to log in and you will also not able to log in you will see this this error invalid user and password account block due to pa 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 okay now how to solve that this is bit uh, this is little bit technical okay but don't worry there are only few lines of code that you need to write and after that you are able to do that and just to explain you in very simple word we will actually access the database of the um, I mean the open project and inside that we will change the login detail for user so I mean we will reset the password for user and then we'll able to log in okay so let's just start how we can use that can i clear this obviously yes okay so first thing is let's just list down where we are so we are at uh, we have apps folder we have bitnami credential file and uh, st docs and stack okay and also there's one thing uh, even if you let's say we just clear but if you want to see the user credential then you can actually see through this bitnami credential file and if you want to see files inside a linux terminal for that you can use cat and cat uh, use bitnami credential and there you can actually see your default username is user and password is blah 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 okay let's just clear it again because since we our this password is not working anymore so for that now let's just again list that and just go back to maybe ST docs so cd ST docs and hit ls uh, nothing there so let's just go back cd app list and here we can see bitnami open project and php my admin let's just go inside open project okay so make sure you are in apps open project directory so you just change your i mean cd is like you're cha you are changing your current directory or maybe your current directory is this okay then after that uh, what you have to do is you need to actually set a rail environment so something like rail rail oh sorry all capitals rails a and b and equals to then you need to say production and then bundle and ex exec rails and then c okay hit enter so could not locate a gem file or a dot bundle inside directory okay so don't worry let's just uh, list that where we are okay maybe you need to go inside this cd ht docs and then ls okay so sorry about that so basically you need to be inside this apps open project slash ht docs okay let me clear this again so no confusion here you can see apps open project ht docs okay now run our code rail environment bundle exe rail so it's looking for a gem file and once you see some code is i mean something is coming some text is coming that means uh, it's working okay so it's basically installing some of the things some bundles and uh, yeah after the uh, after enter this command you just sit back and see how things are actually working there it will take uh, maybe one minute and then it will be uh, ready for that and basically after that what what we need to do we need to just run open project console and in that console we will jump inside and find our user and uh, change the password of the user so since this is done all right maybe less than a minute and then after that uh, just use uh, open project run console 
and uh, even you no need to do that because uh, if you are running a shell so all you have to do is you need to just create a variable called user and then user and user dot find by okay and uh, you just put uh, login and uh, the login name is user okay so here what we are doing is uh, we are creating a variable and we are finding the user whose name is this this user and for that we need to change the password right so let's just find that all right so we just get that and after that uh, user dot password and the user dot password equals to it must be 10 characters let's say just put uh, ds 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 okay if you hit enter it will not save because uh, your password must be 10 characters so you will see that error. so all you have to do is after that uh, user dot password and uh, confirmation user dot password confirmation not confirmation oh sorry confirmation okay and then user dot save definitely it will not save because uh, the password is not matching the requirement so if i hit enter you will see that password is too short right so that's why i just demonstrate in front of you so let's just put some 10 digit password which is <coughs> q w e r t one two three four five Wow, Q W E R T one two three four five. Let's just hit enter. Password. I mean, you can use any password, whatever you want. So let's just uh, password confirmation, and then user dot save. Perfect, it's saved, right? Now let's just come here and use our same password Q W E R T one two three four five. Sign in. Voila! We are inside our open project and we are able to log in without any issue. So it's save. You select your language and you hit save and it will going through the introduction or whatever just skip that because i'm giving you the introduction so you no need to worry about that okay so i mean the virtual vmware works uh, whatever the uh, vm uh, part is actually done so you no need to come and see anything further you just keep it in a side and you can minimize that or run in a background whatever you want to do that part is already done completely done let's just put it aside now let's just see this part which is very interesting okay so in my next video we will jump into the features of the open project and we will explore the user interface i mean the ui of this open project so follow with me on my next video all right thank you guys